hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be playing the parkour action based on the obstacle height okay as you can see right here these boxes height is smaller than the stables and the stables height is smaller than this stall okay so according to each of this obstacle or you can say object height we will play different type of parkour so right here in the scripts folder if you go inside the parkour folder right here let's create a new c-sharp script by the name of new parkour action because by using this script we will be creating a new parkour okay so if we open this up right here let's remove the start and update function and this script will not be a mono behavior this will be a scriptable object okay and in here we will create a serialized field it will be of type string and the name of it will be animation name then we will create another serialized field so let me just copy that paste it down below two times and the second one will be of type float and its name will be minimum height okay then after this we'll create another float by the name of maximum height and also let's correct that to minimum Okay, so this will have these three variables and then right here at the top we will say create asset menu then we will add round brackets and in here we will say menu name and the menu name will be first of all the parent name will be let's just say parkour menu and inside the parkour menu we will have the first option which will be create new parkour action that is it and the reason we created this scriptical object is because if we open up our actually the other script which is this parkour controller right here as you can see we type this animation name right here okay so we actually don't want this as this is a uh, hard coding we want some easy way to play the animation according to the minimum height and maximum height so that's why we created this scriptable object so how this will work in the animation name we will provide this jump up okay and then we will set the minimum height and maximum height for this jump up animation and then according to that height value our player will be able to jump on the certain object which matches the minimum and maximum height of this okay and as you know we have created ourselves a uh, scriptable object and also a menu so if we right click right here okay and then click on create and right here now you can see the parkour menu right here and if we see the first option right here it is create new parkour action okay and if we actually click on it it will create this new parkour action and it will take our animation name minimum height and maximum height okay so let me just now delete this and we want a specific folder for creating this new parkour animations okay so we will be actually creating that inside the player model so let's create a folder by the name of parkour actions okay 
and inside this folder we will be creating the parkour action so if you now click on parkour menu then create click on this create new parkour action right here as you know that our first animation was the jump up so we will name this as jump up okay and if you click on animator okay the player animator as you can see the animation name is jump up okay don't confuse in these two this is the parkour action name and this is the animation name so now if you click on this parkour action right here we need to provide the animation name which is this one okay so we will type that exactly like that jump up okay and then you can select the minimum height and maximum height for it so actually first of all let me click on the player and as you can see the step offset for the player is 0 0.1 so anything that has a height of 0 0.1 the player will automatically consider that a step and if it is higher than this step offset then it will be some object okay so the reason I have showed you this step offset is that right here now we need to provide the minimum height so the mi minimum height must be greater than the step offset so I will just leave the minimum height as 0 0.2 and the maximum height of let's just say 0 0.9 Okay, uh, so we have provided the animation name, minimum height and maximum height in our jump up. Okay, so we have a uh, first parkour action ready right here. Okay, and as I told you, we will be adding more parkour animation. So if you open up our browser right here on the maximum, make sure that you uploaded your character and then search for running jump okay and then you will find this animation which is by the name of running jump okay so if we click on it you can notice the player right there okay as you can see he is jumping right there okay so we can actually trim this animation right here in the maximum let me move to this side we actually want to trim the first okay so I paused the video and set the animation okay so just trim the first 21 frames okay and if you notice our animation will now start from this position okay from right here okay so we actually need to trim one more frame like that to 22 make it 22 and now if you notice from here our animation will start and we don't want the end frames as well so we want to trim the end frames as well so let me just trim it to for example 70 and let's see how does it looks okay so when the player stands then we just want to get back to the idle locomotions okay I mean the simple locomotion of the player okay so make sure that you trim the first 22 frames and from the end make sure that the frame is set to 70 okay so just trim it like that then click on download make sure this skin is without skin and then fpx for unity then simply click on download and once it is downloaded let's rename this to for example high jump up then in if you click on the player model animations right here click on show in explorer open up the animations folder and in here just cut it and paste it inside the folder like that then if you come right here okay where is it okay here it is high jump up okay right here make sure the rig is humanoid copy from other avatar and in here let's select the Erica Archer click apply now if you click on animation as you can see here is the animation and now what we want right here is make sure that the root transform rotation is original okay and it is set to bake in pose then the root transform position y will be set to feet okay and let's make this okay this will be center of the mass okay let's click apply and see how does it looks okay so as you can see it looks good
so make sure that you do these changes as well and also make sure that you click for the root transform wire back into pose okay click on that back into pose and that is it our jump up animation is ready so what we can do we can just simply drag and drop it right there okay and let's name this to high jump up okay and make a transition from here to basic locomotions then right here in the parkour actions let's create a new parkour action by the name of high jump up and now it requires the animation name so this is the animation name okay high jump up so we will say high jump up the minimum height for this will be for now let's just set it to 0 0.7 for example and then 1.2 if you want okay just give it a random value we will be changing this value when we will be able to test these parkour animations right here in the environment okay for now just give it any value okay so as you can see now we have these two parkour actions now in the next video we want to play these two parkour actions according to their minimum height and maximum height okay right here in the environment so now with this done let's end this video right here and continue it from the other video